well, Wi-Fi radiation is uh, does all kinds of bad things, including causing cancer. Wi-Fi radiation causes yeah, cancer. Yeah, from your cell phone. I mean, there's cell phone tuner, tumors. You know that. I mean, I'm representing hundreds of people who have cell phone tumors behind the ear. It's always on the ear that you favor with your cell phone. Oh, um, and you know, we have the science. So if anybody lets us in front of a jury, they, it will be over. You know, we, so the, what, is, what is the number? Because a lot of people use There's a phones. lot of people with it. They're glioblastomas. That's the kind of cancers that they get. But cancer's not the worst thing. They also, you know, it opens up, Wi-Fi ra radiation opens up your blood-brain barrier. And so all these toxins that are in your body can now go into your brain. How does Wi-Fi radiation open up your blood-brain barrier? Yeah, now you're going beyond my uh, my okay. expertise. I, I, but what there are there are I'm going to use a number here, and you're going to think it's hyperbole, but but it's not. There are tens of thousands of studies that show the horrendous danger of Wi-Fi radiation, and. And so this is Wi-Fi like that's in this room. Yeah, it's, we have it's wi what you, it's Wi-Fi wi like, routers. You should not be sleep and you should not let your kids carry their cell phones on their breasts, particularly a woman, because they're associated with breast. You know, they shouldn't be holding them in the breast pocket. If you have to, all put them in your you know butt pocket. You should not be uh, having them near near your head when you're sleeping. You know, you need to get away, and you should never put one next to your head. You should always, I like, I will never put this next to my head. I put it on, a, I, you know, I put it on speakerphone or use earphones. Uh, but, you know, I won the case in front of, on this issue of uh, suing FCC and FDA about it. And, um, and, you know, and the court sided with me. So now they're going to have to go back to the drawing board and do it. But the Russians, you got Russians know more about Wi-Fi radiation than even they, they developed it as a weapon. And a lot of the really good science came out of Russia. And, uh, you know, the Russians won't let kids use cell phones in kindergarten or, you know, in, in grade school. A lot of the schools in Russia don't let cell phones in there because of the danger. And the levels of radiation that they allow from cell phones is like one one hundredth of what, and I don't know exactly what it is, you know, so that's a number people shouldn't hold me to, but it's, it's, it, it is a tiny fraction of what we allow in this country. So the, the Wi-Fi radiation is obviously different than cell phone radiation. So you're talking about people that are just in a room with Wi-Fi are being exposed to something that's yeah, dangerous? Yeah, people, and you know, people have different sensitivities to it. So some people are extremely sensitive. They become completely debilitated from it. And um, Really? You know, oh, yeah, we have from a woman. From Wi-Fi? Yeah, we have a woman who, uh, who was a... Um, who developed an, an allergy to Wi-Fi. She was in the uh, Israeli Defense Forces and she was in their cyber warfare unit. So she was in a room with it all the time and suddenly she developed, a, a, and she's a brilliant lawyer, um, and she's one of the leaders of, you know, uh, in this movement to get, to make sure that they don't put Wi-Fi antennas on Elementary schools, which they're doing now, there's no control over where p people put these antennas. And um, and uh, so, what do you think Wi-Fi is doing to us? Since it's everywhere, and since everyone's experiencing, including you, what do you think it's doing it, to us? I think it degrades your mitochondria. It uh, and it you know opens your blood-brain barrier. Do you do you see anything online how it could open up your blood-brain barrier? <clears throat> I don't know about how, but I that it does. Found, I mean, I don't. I found an article. I was trying to find the validity of it, but it has a statement on here. Damage that. the blood-brain barrier. Radio frequency radiation exposure has been shown to affect the permeability of the blood-brain barrier, as well as altering the expression of microRNA within the brain, which researchers state could lead to adverse effects such as neurodegenerative disease. Whoa. How come we don't know that? And there's a doctor that did a study and said that it's been expanded on researches in China, and there's a published article here, but I was looking around at the page. And they, they call it leaky brain. The fi findings were followed by suppression, misinformation, and a shutdown of government-funded yeah. research in the United yeah. States. It's the same as same play. Oh, we got to get rid of Wi-Fi. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck, Jamie? <laughs>